Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to remove part of a picture on the design space. So if there is an image that you get from Google or like I bought this one from Etsy, but I didn't want the kiss lips in it, um, I am going to show you how to remove part of a picture that is already attached together. So first you're going to go ahead and upload that image. So like you can see there are some lips with blood dripping. I didn't really want those on there. I just wanted the coffee and true crime. So I am going to show you how to remove those kiss lips. Once you upload your image you're going to go ahead and select the entire image and then you're going to go on the right side where it says ungroup and you're going to hit ungroup. If it's grayed out that means that you cannot ungroup it but for this image I can ungroup it so I'm just going to go ahead and remove everything Thing that is now separated if that makes sense and start deleting so you can see on here the like mouth like the teeth part of the lips was separate from the lips and then the like inside of the teeth was separate from the teeth um, all that was separate so I just went ahead and moved everything that was still grouped together Notice how the teeth, like I said, the little black on the teeth part is still connected to the coffee. So I'm going to go to the left and go to shapes. I'm going to choose whichever shape. I chose the circle. I just, that's the one I go to. So I'm going to put the circle over top of what I want to remove and make sure it's not touching what you want still on the picture. So notice how it's not touching the coffee and true crime logo but it is covering the little black on the teeth. So I laid it right on top of that and then I'm gonna select the entire picture and I'm gonna go down to the right hand side and click slice. So then you'll see that it sliced out of that circle the black part. Now you can either delete the circle or just keep it because you notice it didn't take up much of that circle, so I just kept it. Now you can delete all of those pieces and notice how it is gone from the circle. So you're going to go ahead and repeat that on the other side. You'll move the circle over those teeth marks, then you'll select the image and you'll put press slice. That was a mouthful. And now you can go ahead and delete everything that you don't want there. It's just as easy as that. And I'll show you again on the lip part. So now I drag the lip over here and I'm going to get another circle or a square or whatever shape you want and you're going to put it over top of those lips. You're going to highlight and make sure you just highlight those two pictures because if you highlight more than two it won't let you slice it so it can only be two. Now here I will delete the circle and get a new one because obviously those lips were bigger and took up more space on the circle. So, like I said, you just repeat the steps over again, take the circle, put them over top of those lips, making sure they don't touch anything else that you still want to keep. You select the image, you slice, and that is how you remove what you don't want from a picture, or what you don't want in the picture. So now you can delete it, and that is exactly what I want left over. And that is how you do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Cricut videos. And I'm actually now selling Starbucks cups. So I will leave my Etsy shop in my description. Right now I only have two cups up there. But if you comment that you want a cup, I can show you all the other designs that I have. Or you can follow my TikTok, which will be in the description bar. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.